guys, welcome back to my channel, Danielle here, and we are gonna milk the crap out of this background again. We have little nutty kittens here with us, but y'all, I have another Goodwill outlet video for you guys. So I kind of stopped going to regular thrift stores now just because the Goodwill that I go to, I rave about it all the time because I always find such good things over there, but literally the racks have been super empty. Um, I don't know whether it's because they've been hit with COVID and so they're not getting as many donations. Maybe there isn't much circulation of product going around. But the past, like, I'm not gonna lie, maybe past the month that I've been going, it has been looking too good. So I've been taking advantage of the Goodwill outlets. It is a lot of work, but it's super fun because y'all, this has to be my best, best, best Goodwill outlet haul yet. So I can't wait to show you guys. I walked away with, again, maybe somewhere between 26 to 28 pieces. And this time I did spend more money. I ended up spending, oh, yes, honey. This time around I spent $48, but y'all, some of the pieces I walked away with, and I found some Oscar de la Renta, but it's their pink label. So I think it's considered they're more like financially accessible, but sleepwear, so I'm really excited to show you guys. So let's get started. I'm just gonna pull from the bag, so it might be all over the place. This little top right here, I'm thinking that it was part of like maybe a skirt or a dress, and it was just like the top of it. Lately, this style has been like super freaking popular, so it has boating throughout, and it has like the sheen metallic fabric that I think is super cool. Ooh, actually, even as a layering piece, would look super awesome. Up next, we are playing with some color, and it's this really cute sweater shirt. I showed it to my friends, and they are just like, e are you sure? But y'all know that I'm all about obnoxious colors. So look at this neckline. We've got some stripe detailing there. The sleeves are a good contrast to the bodice. And then it's just covered in this like floral print and really cool intricate beading. I've already been raving about sweater vests left and right, so I ended up picking this one up. It's just a bold red color, and this one does fit a bit more oversized. It has cable knit construction, and you guys know if you're familiar with the Goodwill bins, not everything is gonna be in like pristine condition. So this one does have like a few stains here and there, but I mean, if you cropped it, you can definitely get rid of it. Um, I haven't washed it quite yet, but I'm hoping that they come out because this is a really cute piece. You guys know that I'm not really a fan of t-shirts, but with Corona, I feel like my daily outfits have become a lot more casual and less extravagant. So I decided to walk away with this one. It's just like a plain faded black tee that I think is super cool. It has dragon and then this little graphic right on the front. Nothing on the back, just knit construction, so something super comfy. The Goodwill outlets can sometimes be a drag because you're going through every single bin. It takes a lot of time and patience, but when you run into a gem, it makes it all worth it. I ended up walking away with two Oscar de la Renta pieces, and so the first one is this cute little nightgown right here. Not sure if you can tell, but from the trials, you guys can see that it's like a baby doll silhouette, and it has very cute pastel polka dots all throughout. Again, we have this little frill hem. And it's got a cute little bow detail right on the front. I ran into so many cardigans. So these next ones are one of my favorites because they have intricate beading and embroidery and then these colors oh, are to die for. Okay, the first one is one of my favorites and it is this knit constructed cardigan. Not sure if someone made this by hand, but if they did, this is absolutely beautiful. Look at the striped knit work, these cuffs. Tell me that isn't freaking adorable. It has little jewel detailing right on the cuffs there. And then it is an open front, so it doesn't necessarily have a closure, but it has this removable brooch. Brooch? 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 Look at that. Isn't that so adorable? This next cardigan I think is super freaking cute. I was really drawn to the embroidery in the... Ow! Naughty! Oh, she bites me anytime she wants attention. Jesus Christ. Okay, as I was saying, this is a really super cute cardigan. I would wear it with like a contrast tank. I'm so scared she's gonna bite me. Stop biting things, Kate. Okay? Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. The only thing is this color, I feel like it really does flush me and kind of makes me look a little nude. So this is gonna be posted on my Depop. If you guys want it, it'll be there. And then look at these buttons. They are sparkly. They kind of have like this resin look to them. You get really chic granny vibes. This has to be my favorite cardigan of the haul. Not only that, y'all, it is a two-piece set. I think it's freaking insane that I was able to find both matching pieces. They were in the same bin, surprisingly, but it is so freaking cute. Okay, let's start off with the tank. So this is a really cute lilac color. It's super in right now. It has a subtle, very floral detail with a little bit of jewel detailing right on the front. And the cardigan that goes with it is a cute little short sleeve 
with the front button closure and then it has the same flower detailing right on the front on both sides. We've got a tank here and surprisingly this still has a tag so it's brand freaking new. We got floral embroidery and then really cool bead detailing throughout as well in this awesome pastel yellow color. Yes, for a very summery, effortless look. These I thought were super freaking cool. I think from now on, when I go to the Google outlet, I'm gonna bring a measuring tape with me because they had a crap ton of jeans there, but it was so hard to tell what would fit and what wouldn't. So I thought these were going to, but they don't. So these are the brand Liz Clayboard. Last time you guys got on me because I said Clairboard. They're a light wash hand and they have paint splatters all throughout. I'm pretty sure the previous owner intentionally put all these paint splatters and all this distressing on the knees. It's a high waist, it's a straight leg, and it has like fading all throughout. Oh, okay, I'm gonna show you guys a jacket. Oh, I've been looking for a jacket like this for so freaking long. The only thing is that I found it, it's just not in my size. If this were in a, like a smaller medium, I would have kept this for myself. But look at this suede jacket. It's a longer length. It's in this beige color. Y'all, I can't believe I found this at the Goodwill Outlets because it's in such good condition. No damages, it's not dirty. And then it has this very minor like stitch detailing on the lapel. Ooh, okay, another leather piece here. Definitely that like vintage statement piece. And it's this sweater right here. It's made up of all these leather diamond shaped patches, which I think is super cool. And then they're all, what is this crocheted, knitted together? Look at this. I get pretty lucky and I find a lot of Fredericks of Hollywood pieces there. And so look at this cute little bra. It's pastel pink, it's got lace construction. It is also pretty sheer. Again, y'all, I mention this all the time. My little babies are A cups and this is a B cup. So there is a lot of space that I have to fill up. So this is also gonna be posted on my Depop, but I couldn't resist. Look how pretty it is. I know for a hot minute, vests are super in. I remember when I was in university, I used to work at the Coho. It was like this coffee house. I would always watch people pass by. And one time there was this girl who passed by in a vest and she was wearing like leather pants. And I was like, wow, she looks so freaking cool. Ever since I saw her fit, I've always tried to like replicate it or imitate it, but I haven't come across a vest that actually fits me. So this was another case where this this vest was just a little too big for my bust. But look at this cute vest, giving me granny vibes all the way. It's got this floral print on the front and the back. It does have a, an adjustment on the back to like kind of cinch your waist. And it does have these engraved brass buttons that I think are super cute. You can never go wrong with just the classic, basic, knit constructed shirt. So I have this one here. It's just in this really trendy pastel color and it's cable knit construction. Ooh, I scored some Victoria's Secret. Oh, you guys, it is so upsetting when I find such cute pieces and they're not in my sizes. So I found this one here. It's a bodysuit with this like metallic floral detailing and it's sheer from the back. It is more of a thong cut. Bow detail in the front, lace up detailing in the front. Oof. And this color, you guys know I'm a sucker for pastel blue. Okay guys, so the next piece is this black one, which surprisingly I don't really thrift a lot of black as I'm literally wearing black right now. Okay, I don't usually wear black. I do tend to wear a lot more color, but here and there I do have a few black pieces, but this one I had to pick up because look at this texture. First of all, do you see this subtle sheer construction? Imagine just wearing this with a black bra, being able to see it just slightly. Yes, so into it. Just a spread collar, it's got a front button closure, and then look at this, like, is this considered like a lettuce edge trim? or it's just like scallop just a bit. I changed my mind. This next piece has to be my favorite, my favorite, hands down, best piece of this entire haul. Again, it is Fredericks of Hollywood and it's this cute little camisole. Kind of gives me like doll's kill vibes, but look at this cute little tank. Tell me this just doesn't scream my style. I absolutely love this. We have sheer, we have a heart, we have texture, this velvet construction. Oh, I am obsessed with it. Sadly, I am gonna have this posted on my Depop. I just feel like with these statement pieces, I'm only gonna wear it once and then not wanna wear it again. So this can go to someone else. Okay, so here is that other Oscar de la Renta piece. It's a robe. Again, it's sheer construction. It's more of a like off-white cream color and it's super feminine with these like flutter sleeves. Do you guys see that? For some reason, anytime I go thrifting, I always come across this type of pant. It's velvet construction 
We got an elasticized waist, and then my favorite part, it has a flared leg. I swear, I think I've come across like three, four pairs of these pants. This would make like my fifth pant ever. And they always sell on my Depop, so if you guys wanna snag them, they'll be listed. Ooh, when I saw this one, <laughs> it has to be another black piece, right? Okay, so I've got this slip here. Do you guys, you already see it. We've got some sheer construction, but look at how pretty. If I come closer, it has like this floral detailing with all these sparkles. If you've been watching my hauls for quite a bit, you know that I'm obsessed with slips, with those like slip skirts that are either like a short or a midi length. Well, I found one, it's black but this hem is to die for. I'm obsessed with like impressionistic art, and so when I saw this, it gave me mad Monet vibes. Okay, this next piece, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you have already seen it on my stories, but it's this awesome Zara piece. I am a sucker for pink and red, and when they're together, oh yes, absolutely. So I ended up walking away with this sleeveless shirt here. It's originally from Zara. It has this like houndstooth print all throughout, and it just looks super fun, and colorful, obnoxious, and trendy. We are down to the very last piece, and I don't know how I feel about this one. Maybe it just needs some work with styling, but what drew me to it is how soft this dress is. So it's a sweater dress. I know it is so freaking hot right now. And maybe I'm crazy for thinking anyone would wear a sweater dress in this crazy summer. Okay, so it's a sweater dress. It has this banded neck and cuff. Look at this cream off-white color. It's just a soft knit construction. The best part is this hem. Look at this frill tear detailing. Isn't that so cute? I just think it's so feminine, but I feel like this color really does complement my skin and brings out like the little blush tones that I have to make like a really kawaii look. So really like this one. But you guys, that pretty much does it for the end of this Goodwill outlet haul. If you like any of the pieces, give this video a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join me, Eggy family. If you guys are interested, my mystery box are now available on my Depop, so feel free to hit me up there. I am at Twinell. I'm only doing 10 a month and then possibly doing like pre-pulled mystery boxes like I did last month. If you want to keep up with me throughout the week, I also have an Instagram. I am that Eggy Girl here. I usually post a lot of like behind the scenes of when I'm out thrifting or if I have like Depop drops. You'll always be the first to know. But thanks so much for watching. I post videos once a week. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!